Hey, welcome back to a quite a unusual video actually, just how I prepare Corella. Oh, bit of gourd, this is quite a nice big one. Anytime it's uh, really fresh in the shops I'll always buy it. You'll see this hanging out in Asia, all over the place, China, Vietnam, you name it, India especially. So it's also called Corella, I'm not sure if that's after the state of India below Goa called Corella, but what I'm going to do is uh, we're just going to examine it. So always make sure you get a nice firm one, inevitably it's imported, so you get some of the uh, dinosaur-y type spikes that have come off, so just top and tail it. And uh, this video is just how I prepare it. Let's have a, let's uh, cut it in half to start with. Now this is amazing when you cut up a, it into coins and fry it. I do have a video that I posted about two years ago. Must have about 98 views on it. It was just one of my favourite things to go on the side uh, when eating in South Asia. It's just got an addictive taste, rather acquired, but it was just an essential uh, part of many banana leaf meals etc. So what we do you can check out my video for that. I really miss it not being available in all the restaurants. And so a teaspoon and just get rid of all that. So we'll come back when, once that's done. So it's all de-seeded. Use your fingers. You could leave the seeds in. To be honest, if you're going to make the fried, uh, spicy fried version, the seeds were the most addictive part in terms of taste. So we just want to cut that into like little half moons. It's really up to you. But the whole point of this, it's it's called bitter gourd or bitter melon for a reason. So all we're going to do is cut it up into nice uh, curryable bite-sized pieces. We'll come back in a moment. So there we have it. So straight into a bowl. It's quite a good amount that is. So what we do now is just put, I don't know, two thirds of a teaspoon of salt on it. And this will draw some of the moisture out and the moisture's the sour part if you like. So we just leave that sit there for like five to ten minutes and you'll see all the water being drawn out and then you just give it a squeeze you could use a muslin cloth um, and then you're left with a version of the uh, vegetable that's not as sour and good for currying i'm going to be making a typical southern indian style karela curry short 